Hi guys, it's Cindy Otter here with my Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Today we're here to talk about my creative year and what we are going to talk about is this week's prompt which is reduce. Now, um, I did have a long process video for you and Cindy made a huge mistake and thought she had taken everything from her camera. Notice I'm talking about her in a third, you know, like sh I'm not her. Anyways, um, <laughs> I thought I had taken all of my film off my camera, put it onto my computer, and I deleted everything from my camera. And I went to edit my videos and it is gone. So... <laughs> This is what I've had to do. Um, I have a picture that I'm going to put in here somewhere. And what you're going to see is the front of this, this book when I received it. Now let me talk about Reduce. What this is, is a friend of mine um, is in the process of reducing her studio because she's in a transition of moving from one place to another. And what happened is I decided... Um, she sent me a few of those journals, and I decided I asked her if I could use one in, our, you know, this month um, for our three R's, and she said absolutely. So the picture that you see is what the cover used to look like. Now what I did is I basically went right over top of what she had on here, and I basically did what I normally do, which is my glue style stuff. Um, I did a bunch of collage. I did some doodling, I put on some words in here, this is a vase that I cut out of a magazine, this is a heart that, I don't know, I got the dollar store, my name. Um, this says, being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect, If you, it means you decide to see beyond the imperfections. And boy, that is true for today, isn't it? Um, the best is yet to come, and it says, I don't think I want any more adventures. And I'm telling you, this is so true, it's just unbelievable. But what I did is I took this binder apart, here's all the pages that were in it and I'm going to be reusing some of these pages some of them I'm not but that's okay um, and then here is the back cover oh let me go back to the front for a second um, I poked a hole in here and then this is just a piece of sorry ribbon or sorry fabric and I put a bead on the end of it I stuck it through that hole and then I just tied a little knot on the back side so I don't know why I put that there just because I wanted to so there it is um, the inside, I just took my color shift paints. As you can see, they kind of change funky colors. Um, and I just painted the insides. That's all I did. I didn't do any taping. I didn't do anything else on this. I just painted this inside. That was it. Um, used some masking tape around the edges just because I like to. Um, to me, it just kind of keeps the edges a little bit sturdy. On the back side, again, I did some more collage. Um, wild ones, wild things. Uh, let's see. I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. It's driving me nuts. It's right by my chin. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, I used up a bunch of stuff. Some comics and some paper, some book text, um, some origami paper, just odds and ends. And again, this is all about trying to reduce. So I figured, you know, she reduced by sending me the journal. I'm going to reduce my stash by using a bunch of collage in um, the covers of the journal. Now, like I said, I apologize. I don't have a video showing you how I did this process. I'm sure you guys have seen me do it a hundred times before, but you know, it was my mistake. I deleted my videos and there's no way I can go back and um, re-film this. So uh, it's a short and sweet video this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye.